everyone, so today I have one of my favourite videos to actually film for you today, a what's in my bag, and I haven't done one of these for a really long time, we're going to link below all the previous ones that I've done, I think there's been about three or four now, but I have a new bag, I love it, and I thought I would just share with you what's inside. I think this is going to end up being a pretty accurate representation of the things that I actually carry around with me on a daily basis, because I haven't taken anything out, I haven't edited it down, what you're seeing in here is what I've been carrying around for the last couple of days. So this is the bag in question, it doesn't actually fit onto the screen, it's quite large, but this is from Whistles. I've been wanting a slightly smarter bag for quite a while now and I really like this. It's a very structured leather tote and it has a little magnetic clasp and the inside is pretty much open apart from this middle portion which has a zip and I keep all my valuable bits in there. This was a little bit of a splurge for me in terms of handbags that I've bought in the past but I just fell in love with the colour of this. I absolutely love this sort of bright shade of cobalt blue. My wardrobe is pretty much 90% made up of black, grey and the occasional piece of white clothing so I thought it would be nice to have a bag that was a little bit more colourful and just added a sort of pop of interest to an outfit and I just absolutely love this can't talk about it enough. I don't know if it's available anymore. I'm pretty sure it's sold out really, really quickly, but you might still be able to get it on the actual Whistles website. I bought mine from ASOS, which is where I usually buy all my bags, so that is where I got hold of it. But I've had this for about a month now, and I can tell that it's just such a good quality bag. It's a real leather bag, so it's going to withstand a bit of battering. So I feel pretty confident that it's going to stick around for a long time. So, on to what I actually have inside the bag. Like I said, I haven't really gone through this, so I'm not sure what's inside it. I have no doubt, though, that we're going to find quite a few lip products sitting in the bottom of this. So I'm going to start with the middle section which is the zipped up part and I keep things like my phone in here um, which is actually being used as my microphone at the moment so it's not in here and my cameras and I have been carrying around two cameras at the moment. A little bit excessive but I have these two, these are my standard out and about cameras. I have the Canon G7X which is my vlogging camera, absolutely love this because it has a flip up screen and you can just vlog really easily and you can see yourself if you're out of focus, if somebody's standing behind you really awkwardly. I think this is such a good camera for vlogging. The quality is really brilliant, the autofocus is great, really smooth and really quick and I've actually been surprised at how well the battery for this lasts. It's quite a small camera and it has quite a small battery as well. It's really really tiny but it's lasted me a whole day. I haven't had any problems with having to recharge it or running out of battery when I've been vlogging so I really really love this. Um, so that is in the middle pocket of my bag as well as this camera here which used to be my vlogging camera but now I just use this for photos. The Canon G7X isn't brilliant for photos. I thought it might be but it's not the best. It doesn't really have the quality that I want my photos to have. So this is another Canon camera. I'm not sponsored by them, just always buy their cameras and this is the EOS M. I think this is the closest you can get in actual quality to a big DSLR while still having something quite compact and easy to carry around and this usually has my 40mm lens on which I'm actually filming with right now so I've taken it off for that but I think with that it just gives you really crisp really clear photos I take a lot of my outfit photos and most of my weekend posts as well so whenever I'm out and about taking pictures of food and things like that it's always on this camera and I think it just performs really well beautiful quality photos and the settings are really easy to play around with to get the sort of photo that you want. It actually has a touch screen, I think that's really brilliant for cameras because it just makes things so much easier. Um, so this will always be my go-to for kind of out and about photography. And then I also try and keep my purse in this middle pocket but it usually tends to migrate out of it because I'm too lazy to put it back. But the purse I'm using at the moment is from H&M. I'm pretty sure this is the same purse that I had in my last What's In My Bag video but I really like it because it's really small. I don't really like to carry around a massive purse because if I need to transfer into a smaller bag I have to take all my cards out and I usually end up losing a couple of them. So inside of here I just have normal cards, I've got my Tesco's club card, bank cards, Nando's card which is essential and then I have this little travel holder here which is from Nat and Nin, it's a really cute little leather purse which I used to keep my Oyster card in but it kept falling out so I've turned this into my train ticket holder and if you're wondering how much I actually get on trains because I'm constantly complaining about it, this is about a month's worth of tickets, I don't think it's even a month, I'm pretty sure I emptied this out halfway through June and it's now a week into July so I'm always on trains, I don't love it but that is where I keep my train tickets. So that is everything in the middle. Let's look through the rest of this. Um, so I have a magazine in here actually. This I picked up at the train station. This is Stylist. I love reading this. I always try to get it before I get on the train. Um, it's just a really nice little read. There's some beauty bits in here, fashion, lifestyle. I have my life-saving gadget. Absolutely could not be without this, which is looking a bit battered and bruised since its last outing in a What's In My Bag video, but this is my phone charger, portable phone charger. This is an absolutely massive one because my phone just runs out of battery so quickly, probably because I Instagram and use Twitter way too much, but I think this holds about 
10, maybe 12 charges. So I just put this on to charge the night before I'm going out and then I keep it in my bag for top ups and I probably use it about three or four times a day. It may just be that my phone is absolutely terrible for holding battery, but it's probably because I'm using it way too much. So that I, I honestly couldn't do without and I think it's been one of my best purchases ever. I have my keys in here. I don't know about you, but I get really sentimental with key rings. So I keep things on here like this one, which is when I went to Disneyland. I have a little strawberry from when I first went to Wimbledon and then I've got the Harry Potter Deathly Hallows sign because I am a Harry Potter nerd and I love it. And I went to the Harry Potter Warner Brothers studio thing a few years ago and it was the best day of my life. Um, and then I also have a little Eiffel Tower that I got in Paris. I have a pair of sunglasses in here in a little H&M case. I prefer these sort of cases to the big bulky kind of hard shell cases because they just take up so much less space. Probably not as good at protecting your sunglasses as those ones are which is probably why I break them so often. Um, but in here I have my Ray-Bans. These are the lilac aviators. I really like these, they're really pretty. They're a nice sort of pastel-y lilac colour. I don't love how these look on me but I think they're just such a nice colour that I've been wearing them anyway. And then stuck to the bottom of this side of my bag I have a little lint roller. Again I think I got this in H&M. These are just so handy to carry around with you especially if you're someone like me that wears a lot of black and is prone to having dust and things just stick to them. So I usually do this when I'm on the train or on the tube, just start lint rolling in the middle of the tube carriage, but I think these are really handy to have. I wish I had a case to kind of store them in there because this just sticks to everything. I've got my passport, which I've been carrying around because I don't have a driving license at the moment. Again, I lost that. Um, there's a perfume at the bottom here. This is the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. This is really on its last legs there's pretty much nothing left in here so I've just been chucking it in my bag for a kind of top up on the go. I love this perfume, it's one of my absolute favourites especially in summer, it's just a really fruity light floral scent and I usually hate floral so it's really strange that I actually like this but it's just so nice so I've been carrying that around and um, eventually it's going to run out, it's going to be a sad day when it does. I've got a hand sanitizer in here, I always try to carry one of these around when I'm on the tube and on public transport and things because you don't know what germs you're going to be picking up. I'm quite paranoid about things like that but this is the Niels Yard Organic Defense Hand Spray. I really like this because it's a spray instead of a gel so you don't have to kind of pour it out and then rub it all over your hands and I find those are really sticky and they take ages to dry whereas this you just literally spray onto your hands and then rub them together and you're done and it dries down really quickly so love this. It also smells amazing. I love the way Niels Yard products smell. I have a little bag of goodies in here. These are mostly makeup bits I think but I also chuck a few smaller bits in there that I don't want to lose. So I have a mirror in here. This is from Forever 21 and it has unicorns and ice creams on it which is amazing. I have some paracetamols in here because I always get headaches at really inconvenient times so I try to carry those around when I can. Um, there's a camera battery in here as well. This is for my EOSM um, because that one the battery doesn't last so well on so I always carry around a spare um, and then I think the rest are makeup bits. So in case you haven't noticed the sweaty upper lip going on at the moment, it's very hot at the moment in England. It's boiling. We're having a heat wave. I'm sure 90% of the people out there are loving it, but I really don't do well in heat, so I'm suffering quite a bit. Um, so I have these, which have been so handy recently. These are from DHC, and they're oil blotting papers. I was never really into the concept of these. I never thought they would work properly, but I was really surprised they actually do. And these ones come in a really pretty little pink case. But you basically get a little sheet and you just press this all over your skin. So chin, forehead is usually where I get a bit shiny. Um, and it really helps at taking away any excess grease and shine, but it doesn't disrupt your makeup. Um, so I think it's a really handy to have in your bag. I'm quite a collector of minis. I think they're just adorable. And this is probably one of the cutest ones that I've ever come across. This is a tiny little Benefit Dream Screen, which is their SPF. And I try to carry this around for top ups. I know it's pretty much impossible to top up your SPF when you're wearing makeup, but if I've taken it off or if I'm having a no makeup day, I try to use this throughout the day. This is a really nice one because it's not very greasy, but it does have SPF 45 in it. So really love that, although it's not gonna last me too long because it's absolutely tiny. I have a concealer in here because that's usually the first thing to go when my makeup starts to melt off my face. This is the Collection Illuminating Touch Concealer. I've been trying this one out recently. And then I think the rest are just lip products. Oh no, I have a lens cap in here as well. This little bag, by the way, I got on ASOS, although I think it's from Monkey, so I will try and find a link for it and put it down below, as with everything else that I'm talking about in this video. So before I get onto the topic of ridiculous amounts of lip products, I'm going to have a little rummage in here because I'm sure there are more sitting at the bottom somewhere. Yep, I have far too many things in here. Um, so there's a couple of lip balms. I have the Corez Jasmine Lip Balm, 
which is a really pretty kind of light pink lip balm. Um, the EOS, I think this is the Vanilla Bean Lip Balm, although it doesn't say on it, which is just my kind of everyday carry around with me lip balm. I would bring the NYX Rev de Mille with me, but I always think it's a bit unhygienic to kind of stick your finger in there when you're out and about. So I have this one, which is kind of similar. It's not quite as moisturising, but I do like it. Um, and then what else? I also have a Bare Minerals Lip Balm. This is kind of somewhere between a lip balm and a lipstick, but it's a really pretty peachy pink one. I've actually been wearing this quite a lot as just an everyday lip colour. There's a Revlon Colour Burst Lacquer Balm. This is one of the shiny packaging ones, which I think means it's a bit more glossy. This is 105 Demure. And I actually picked this up in Boots because I'd come out without a lip product. Somehow managed to not have anything in my bag at all. So I just got this as a kind of neutral pinky shade. And then a few more brights. I have one of the Clinique Pop Lips. This is Poppy Pop. Really, really pretty kind of orangey, corally red. I've got the colour that I'm wearing today, actually, which is NARS. I can never pronounce this, Iberico, Ibericio, um, it's a really lovely red, it's a lot brighter actually than Red Square, which is one of my favourites from NARS, um, so I've been preferring a kind of more orangey tone red at the moment, and then a lip duo that I've also been really into this month, I have MAC Diva here and Beat Lip Pencil, which are a really lovely combination for a very dark, very berry toned burgundy lip, look at this, it's just such a lovely rich dark shade, so a bit of a tricky one to apply on the go, I'm not sure why that's in my handbag, but I really love these too. And I think that is everything. I have a few bottom of the bag bits in here. Another lens cap. I don't know why I have so many of these. A plaster because I guess that's an essential. Um, and I also have this. What's this? Oh this is a sample that I got at the Fresh Counter in Harrah's. It's a sample of the Soy Conditioning Eye Makeup Remover and the Face Cleanser. Oh and tangled up right at the bottom my headphones. I really should get a little clip to put on these. I usually wrap a little hair clip around them so that they don't get tangled and messed up but I've lost that apparently so that's the last thing in my bag. So thank you all for watching that little tour of my handbag. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did and subscribe if you're new and I will see you all again on Tuesday, not Thursday but Tuesday for a brand new vlog. Yay, I've been vlogging again. I really missed it since stopping I Covered Jean. So I have a little one off special vlog for you going up on Tuesday. And I might make it a bit of a regular thing to just have a bonus video on Tuesday. My normal videos will always be on a Sunday and a Thursday, but I may throw in the occasional Tuesday video for you as well. So let me know if that is something you would like to see. And I will see you all then. Bye.